another video. Guys, today is supposed to be our last day in Singapore. Now, I haven't decided if I'm going to stay another night or not yet, but we gotta see how today goes first. So currently, I am on the way to the Singapore Zoo. Now, from where I'm staying, it would cost about 30 US dollars to get an Uber to the zoo. So what we're going to do is take the MRT today. Should be a couple connections, and it should only take about 15 to 20 minutes longer than an Uber would anyways. We are almost there. We are off. Let's get this figured out. The Mandai shuttle is actually here to take me directly to the zoo. We got here at the perfect time, guys. I almost sat down to get a bite to eat. But I'm glad I did. You gotta love it when things work out. And just like the MRT station for any train, any rail, you can also use a Visa card to tap to pay on the bus as well. I really do like how accessible Singapore is made when you can use a Visa card. Being a tourist, you do not have to sign up for any MRT card, you do not have to access any special thing, you don't even have to wait through a ticketing system. As long as you have a Visa card, you can tap to pay just about anywhere you go. I finally made it to the zoo. So let's go ahead and take that. Yeah. Alrighty guys, so it's pretty simple actually. You just come over here, you will get a tourist ticket if you are a tourist, and then you will collect your ticket and you will be able to go to the entrance. Now they also do have a manual ticket counter. The manual ticket counter only takes cash and it is a little bit more expensive. After you get your ticket, you can just go straight across and it is as simple as tapping your QR code. Hello sir. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Pretty beautiful orchids here as well, right at the entrance. But anyways guys, let's go ahead and check this place out. So they do close at 6 p.m. and they do open at 8.30. All right guys, so I'm gonna do my best to show you everything the zoo has to offer now. Let's go straight inside and get it started. Immediately from the entrance, your first right, you'll be able to access the Proboscis Monkey exhibit. Now let's go ahead and see what these guys look like. Oh, wow. This is going to be the Asian small clawed otter. See if we can spot a few of these guys here. This guy is crazy. Thank <laughs> you. 
Shani and Kiara is their size. So Kiara is slightly larger than Shani. This is how I expected the butterfly forest to be in yep. Taiwan, but it was not at all like that. Those guys are always amazing. Some mustaches on those guys. Some mustaches. 
they're better than mine. Wow. Wow. Alright guys, so it is 2.12 now, at 2.30 is the next show, so we're going to stick around here for a minute and catch the next show. The show at the zoo was actually pretty good. Now, they have a lot of different shows, and they have very interactive performances where the birds will be seen flying across you. They have this awesome otter teaching you how to get your recycling done, so take this guy's example and be sure to reduce, reuse, and recycle. And hey, who knows, maybe you'll get a treat just like this guy right here. They had so many different animals from badgers to boars to different type of aviary birds like parrots. They even had this ringtail lemur. And at the end, a lot of the animals you could actually go up and pet. Now keep in mind guys, this is a huge part of Singapore. Every single day I've been here, the thunderstorms have been massive. Alright, so they do have these covered trams, and since it is raining, let's go ahead and take it for one stop. Hopefully by the time I get off, it'll be done raining, but, man. Activities they enjoy. For instance, baby elephants like to kick big rubber balls and chase them. Yeah, there we go, guys. Looks like that's the best view we're going to get of the elephants. Check that out. Alrighty guys, let's check out Australasia. because they primarily live in the water. So let's go ahead and see here what we can find. Yeah, we have found them. Now, if I'm not mistaken, the last animal I haven't seen actually is going to be the tiger. So let's go see if we can find the Malayan tiger. Alright guys, so exiting the park, you are immediately greeted by the gift shop. Definitely have some pretty cool stuff here, that peacock is crazy. I'm curious to know what you guys thought of my full walkthrough tour of the Singapore Zoo. This is one of the best zoos in Asia, and I want to know your opinions down in the comments below. Well guys, that has been a complete walkthrough of the Singapore Zoo. We even attended one of the shows. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and until next time, I'll be out this thing. Peace!